Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Monday, usually our calmest day of the week. Good morning, Penny. How are you feeling? You feeling dirty? Another bit here that I'm going to try with Penny. So, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today, I'm going to try and explain to you the anomaly that is Penny. I know it's really hard to explain, especially because I wasn't able to show you very much. GoPro failed again, you guys. Apparently, I forgot to delete the footage from last time so there was no room. <sighs> Look at this messy girl. Here you go, Pen. There you go, sweet girl. Sometimes I believe that when your comment doesn't get posted, you try and try and it just won't post. Wait. Ah, back up, Missy, back up. Thank you. <sighs> Or when your trail or when your GoPro fails, it's God saying, nope, don't post that, or nope. You don't want to show the world that barn chores are not meant to be done with one hand. Okay, so basically, my I wanted to share with you a little bit more about what happened on my ride. Everything that I showed you in the video looked calm and serene, and it was for a small amount. There was a time in our ride yesterday where Penny was lovely. There was a time where she wasn't scared, she wasn't nervous, she wasn't reacting. She was just riding, and it was down the road on the way to the trail. She was beautiful, and I vlogged a little bit of that. And then there was one point where we were in the middle of the trees. You guys have seen the path. The path where we've taken pictures before. Oh, hi, Debbie. We were going down the path, and she was the best horse I've ever had. Hi, Sophie. The story is not meant to be told. She was so sure-footed, you guys. She, I always worry about horses, just marching along the path. She looked at everything, every little bump. She made the ride the most pleasurable I've ever been on. She was so sure-footed, so careful, so relaxed. I, had, I was able to ride her on a really loose rein, and she was just going slow with her head down, and it was the most beautiful thing until it wasn't the most beautiful thing anymore. The first sign of real trouble was when we turned off the road onto the path. We were alone, the way she likes it, and she was like, I'm not doing this. I'm nervous about this trail. I don't think we can do it. I'm going back. And even though we went on the trail, she dragged me going quickly towards home on the trail. So the only thing that stopped us really was that we ran into trees. There was no way for her to actually get back out onto the road. So then I calmed her down, everything was great. That's when we had the best part of our ride. We went on the trail through the woods and she was far ahead, fancy, sure-footed and fancy free. It was beautiful. We went out into the big field, amazing. All three of us together, it was glorious. And then a horse trotted up behind her and all hell broke loose. It just was absolutely the most terrifying thing. Gabby, what did I say? If they could hear the footage, what did I say? What were the, the main words that you heard? I'm gonna die, help. I'm gonna die and help. She was running as fast as she could. Oh, I thought you were gonna scream. Say yeah, I did some screaming. Mostly I was saying, Penny, stop it, Penny. Penny, <laughs> Penny. stop it, Penny. And I was doing all the things. I got a chance to experience Penny. and practice all the things. The one rain stop, which did slow her down for a second till the, till the reins went loose again. Um, she was scared and she was reactive. When a Penny is not scared and Penny is not reactive, she is the best horse I've ever had. But when she's scared and she's reactive, there's nothing you can do. There's no training in the world that's gonna slow her down or stop her. And I know a lot of you guys think that you'd be able to just jump on her and get her to slow down. And she does have the wrong bit. Tennessee walking horses have a higher mouth or some kind of, I think they have a higher mouth and they need a curved bit. So the bit, so I'm working on getting her the proper bit. But you all know those horses, when they get crazy in their head, even our, us, us, when we get crazy, nothing anybody says is gonna register until you calm down. So when did you have some Fiona? <laughs> I know. No, I dreamed we had lost some Fiona. Oh, that's awesome. When, what was the weather like? Winter. Winter, all right, Fiona, we were ready. Basically, no matter how, no matter what, there are no lessons on earth riding lessons on earth that are going to fix what's happening with Penny. We have to go way back, like way, way back to and her. It's the, Her issue is emotional, you guys. She's got the skills down pat. She's got the 
desire down pat. She's got so much down pat, but she's a she is an emotional horse, just like me, just like me. And so we need to go back and we need to fix that. And I do have ideas of who and can help me with that. I rode a tall horse that goes like this with his front feet, and um, I fell off of him because I had no stirrups. <laughs> but I I landed standing because oh. we were just trotting. Oh, that's and, a good dream. Yeah. That's an amazing dream. And but then, I love the horse. I think God's trying to tell Sophie that she needs a, a walking horse, or she needs a gated horse. But anyway, that's well, what I wanted to tell you. That is what I wanted to tell you guys about a penny, is that the problems that we're having are not training. I mean, obviously, it's all training. But it's not that she can't do certain things. She is skilled and amazing. But she's an emotional horse, and we had that before with Stella, and we worked through it, and we were getting someplace, and I have faith that Penny and I are going to work through all this. We are going to work through it, and she already is starting to trust me so well. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. But thank you for your comments anyway. Thank you for saying, you know, all you have to do is sit up and tighten your body. Yeah, I wish that would have worked yesterday. I mean, I tried that. So I just want to tell you, so after that fiasco where she literally, I went forward, I went back, I went side to side, like it was close, I was going to fall. I was really going to fall. And then after that, I said, let's keep going. Let's just keep going. I said, you guys stay back here. Let me go. You know that big patch, there's this big patch of dirt where the girls just gallop up it. And we went, like she cantered me up that hill beautifully, like it was kind of scary, kind of rough, but I could handle that. I could handle that. I knew she was trying to go home, but we went up there that I was able to stop her, even though she didn't want to. I was able to stop her and turn her in a circle, and we sat there quietly because she couldn't breathe anymore because she'd done so much. And we watched as the other two horses galloped up to us, and I thought the GoPro was getting all the footage. I'm so sad that it didn't. Um, because Gabby was flying, and, and Gary flies, like, Anyways, it was beautiful and we sat there and we watched and we waited till the horses came up and then all the way home She knew we were going home and lots of horses are like that when they know you're going home. They're going home So I know that I'm not the first person to be in this spot and there's lots out there That's gonna help Penny and me. So anyway, that is it. That's my story with Penny It was a death defying trail ride and I'm not even joking and I want to point out the fact that I must be doing some things right because on the ground, Penny is a lot less reactive with me. She knows that in the morning she gets a brush because she always looks a mess. She scratches her hair. There's no walking out, but thank you for trying. She is much less reactive to me. She allows me to do pretty much anything that I need to do to her without any fuss. She has grown and changed and for the better with me already. You guys see when she's with other horses, she doesn't re interact with other horses. She's not a happy horse. Today, you're just gonna get to sit and relax because if you're anything like me, my muscles are all aching too. That was a crazy trail ride. Last time we did that, she was fresh the next day. Was she fresh the next day? Yeah. Well, she's gonna sit for a day and then we're gonna get back at it. I think for now, you're okay. I know you want to go and eat. For now, at home, in our own little arenas, is where we need to be, huh, Pen? But I did learn to half halt. So this horse taught me how to half halt really well. And she responds so well when she's a thinking horse. I wonder if she's, like, allergic to the shavings. Because she rubs her face. Like, she must sleep. The amount of sleep that this horse gets, you'd think she'd be a happier horse. I know, and she likes to get all the stuff off of her. Yes, I know you do. I even honestly believe that some sensitive horses could just be hurt from moving home to home. And Penny's had at least one, two, three, four. We're at least Penny's fifth home. She's 14 years old, so I bet you she's way beyond fifth. Okay, so some guy just showed up at our house. And he wants horse poop. He wants to take some of our horse poop. And last year he came, like in the spring, he came and took some of our horse poop. And he didn't take like all of the horse poop like one guy did. But you know what? Let him take as much horse poop as he wants. It doesn't bother me at all. Stink, man. Oh, the guy with the sun hat? Yeah. So he actually just brings a little car. He brings some bags. Fills his bags up with horse poop. And then, yeah. 
We thought it was the mailman, but he's just gonna take horse poop. I thought it was. I mean, we're getting rid of it again. Yeah. Why isn't he taking, is he checking it first or is he taking the bag first? Like what the heck is he doing? Yeah, so he's checking out the horse poop. <laughs> this is a weird thing. Like, remember, we were never farmers before. So, so yeah, for us, it's an odd thing to have somebody show up and say, hey, can I take some of your poop? I mean, now that we are farmers, I mean, it's a good thing. It. Yeah, anyway, interesting. Is he gonna leave? Oh, he's leaving. Man, he's not like. Closer. Yeah, I don't think he likes our horse poop, you guys. You think that people will not judge you for your horse poop, but they do. There's too much shavings in it. Oh, he's taking some. All right, we are here at the barn to be with our horses. I miss them. Like, ever since I got Penny, I feel like I haven't been able to focus on them that much. I thought you were waiting for me. Oh, we are. oh thanks. Oh, it's too cold in there. Yeah. Looks like oh. We're going for a trail. Our field. oh, looks like we're going for a trail. There were a couple of really crazy things that happened on our trail ride yesterday. One was that when we were coming back from the trail, all of our horses were in a field along the road and they were all there. And I'm like going so fast, I'm Penny, I'm trying to slow her down and she's booking it home. And all of our horses, four of them, like ours and Kaylee's, were standing in the field. If I fall, this is not going to be good. You didn't bring the right shoes. No, I didn't bring the right shoes. They're all standing in the field, head up, head up, just staring at me. They're like, ooh, what's ooh. happening there? Ugh. My back is kind of sore from that trail ride. And my shoulders. That happened. It was funny. Like, you think you're pulling one over on your horse when you take your horse for a ride and leave all the rest home? They know what's going on. They were watching, they were watching us from the road. And then, the other crazy thing that happened, oh, was that when Penny and I were, how gorgeous it is in here. I wish I could ride Penny around in here. But anyway, when we were on our trail, we were on the most beautiful part of our trail, going through the woods, through the leaves, and she was watching where she was going. She was going so nice, such a nice pace. And there was a little squirrel and a little chipmunk chasing each other all along the path beside us. Like, it kept even, they kept even with us half the way. And I kept talking to Penny about the squirrel and the chipmunk. Didn't phase her at all. And I know this is, this is weird, but I felt like it was Stella and Cookie. <laughs> Do we have to go somewhere else? Why am I walking? I could just be standing. I spy with my little eye five horses grazing in the sun. If you're new to our channel and you're concerned about the field, this is the field. This whole thing and much, much more. There are grass fields all around in here. Tex is taking a run for it. Storm's taking a run for it. <laughs> here, Gabby. Storm, you better get back here. See what happens with Mr. Palomino. He's taking a run for it. Did you see him? Oh gosh, it's not going to be one of those days. Yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Where Chino and Oakley were just hugging. <laughs> they were like, yes, they didn't pick us. <laughs> they were so funny. I'll show you. Oh, Chino thinks I'm coming for him. He's making a run for it now. He wasn't though. There they are. All of our beautiful horses. This is their little, their, this is one of the little tawny fields here. Storm decided to ditch his bell boot, huh? I wonder if we should have bought one of those nice bell boots. Oh, Storm was, Chino was hugging with a horse that was not Oakley. Oh, thanks. That's old. This Chino, and Chino's going with Tex. So now we have like all the long walk back. You see all the marks on Finn? Those are all like from trees and stuff. But how glorious to live here and- Those are from playing. And be able to like change your destination every day, and every minute if you want. Why are you going that way? I think. She thinks she went that way, but I'm pretty sure she did not go that way. It's actually crazy how horses can bring you so much peace. 
considering the fact that they bolt, buck, rear, do all the crazy things, yet they're so peaceful. The girls have their work cut out for them. Oh, you the only one with black stuff. The only one. Oh, so you only painted one hoof? Yeah, because the other ones are white with some black. I don't know, I think... I and then I'm going to paint the other ones with the other stuff. That brings out the black lines. I swear them. he does that on purpose. I know people say that they can't, but he loves to spray snot all over us. He does. Yeah. The girls decided that they want to ride outside today because it's gorgeous outside. It's 17 degrees, which is super nice. That's Celsius. Finn, you are covered in dirt and have a I big belly. Look at it. His back is almost being pulled down from the chub. Anyway, today the girls are working on... on no and I'm doing some jumping. No stirrups. And Gabby and Sophie wants to do some jumping. So. Because he needs to do some jumping sometimes. Yeah, but horses don't actually need to do jumping all the time. He likes to jump. That's yeah, the Sophie, only thing he Sophie likes to, likes to jump. Food. I need to go to the store. I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do in here instead of these big totes. Because they take up all the room. So, there we go. All painted and fresh, good feet. Hopefully it dries before you get out there in the sand. It's brown. So this is the stuff that she used to use. It turns it brown. It's clear. I like that. It's clear. And then she likes the one that turns your foot black. So there we are. We have one black foot because it's naturally dry. black. And then, oh, could you imagine that one with this one over top of it? The shine of the madness? Oh, I have a feeling we're not going to have to imagine. I have a feeling you're about to do it. <laughs> and it turns all the dirt black too. So, whoops. So, this is something that we're not allowed to do when it's carrier time. Oh, Chino. Is it Chino? Yeah. And we can tell our horses. Yeah, super shiny black, super shiny. You'd be looking cute. Last time we were here, I saw that there was a cut underneath his chin, and he had this big, huge scab that it wasn't ready to come off. It's itchy. I can tell it's itchy. It's it's just all matted in his fur. Do you guys remember when Gabby got Storm and she got this saddle? We bought it from his old owner. It was kind of almost new. They bought it. They rode Western, his old owner and her daughter. And they bought this just to have an English one. They owned a store, so it was just easy for them to buy. Them probably got it at cost. Anyway, so she sold it to us when we bought Storm, and this is Gabby's very first saddle with Storm. And that yeah, it's her very first saddle ever, and she never wants to get rid of it. She says it's the comfiest saddle that she's ever had, and she loves it. So we brought it today so that thanks. We brought it today so that uh, she could try it on Chino. Do I think it's gonna fit Chino? No, but the problem is her saddle, both of their saddle are so new that the stirrups don't come off very easily. So when they have to take stirrups off for lessons for this month, Sam can barely even get them back on again. It's so tight and everything up in there. But her old ones, her old saddle, they just slide off. So she's hoping to try that saddle on Chino, see if it'll work so she can take the stirrups off and just leave them off. But she's gonna actually put another pair of stirrups on that one too, right? Mm -hmm. The red ones? So that is the plan. I doubt it's going to fit Chino, but we're going to see. We had a really good ride. We did a little bit of no stirrup, a little bit of low jumping, right? How do you feel with the low, with the no stirrup? Are you getting better? More confident? Kind of, but I pinch my knees when I do no stirrups. Yeah, it's funny how you notice the things that you do wrong, huh? It's a hunter's paradise. All the turkeys are out there running through the field. All our horses chilling. He's a Finn, he's peeing. Do you know why he's doing it right there on top of all the shavings? Because they're already dirty and he doesn't want to walk in. Because it doesn't splash up on his legs. All right, so Gabby's bringing in horse number two. I mean, nothing better than having a pee and then rolling in it. I mean, he is rolling in it. Like, honestly. Shake it off. All right, Mr. Big Guy here. So we're gonna try on a new saddle for you. This is just a temporary saddle, Chino, if it fits you. It's just for No Stirrup November and just for lessons. So Gabby's gonna try it on you, see if it fits you. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna fit? I don't know. I, what do you think, Gabby? I think it's gonna be too small. Too small? Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be too small too, but worth a try. 
Yeah, too tight. No, it feels looser. A lot looser than it was. Yeah, it I think does. we should try it. All right, we'll leave it here and we'll ask Brandon. Feels like it fits them now, the half pad. Because the half pad made it just go off more. Yeah, it fits. It's never good to go riding and then go to the grocery store because you're always so hungry. Here. Oh yeah, that is a good idea. No one's staying in the barn. Staying in the barn. Every time we ride and we run out of water, the girls want to drink and we never have any. Oh, hello. Are you ready for supper? Huh? She's the first one here. Hey, Penny. Where are you? I see her. I see movement back there. <laughs> I see a nose right here. That would be such a cute picture of you. I don't want you. No, stay. And then there's, see, she's not the first one to come up to the gate. Like, she doesn't beat our horses. Do you have a light that I could use? Molly, Ruby, Molly, get in here. I can't see. All right, here she comes. She's going to kick them all away. I'm coming, sweet girl. I'm going to give you a brush. Good job, Pen. Look at how dirty her face is still from yesterday. Be looking rough, Pen. Gracie. <laughs> that was not good. No, it wasn't. Usually. They don't do anything. No, they don't. I don't have the door open either, though, when I do it. No, the probably coming too. Hi, Willow. Come on. You know where here. Wait. You know where to go. Girl. Good night, Penny. Good night, ponies. Did you guys see Gracie? Oh, Sam just turned out the light. We're headed back up. It is dark as heck. Uh, it's dark, and we're gonna see you guys tomorrow for a super special fun birthday surprise for me and a friend and the girls. All right, let's go in the dark, puppies. Don't you know that you're beautiful?